this is Tina from Shabby Dabby Doodle. Welcome back to my channel. So I'm here now with my large journaling cards that we made. Um, and we made these um, in the, you know, in the physical sense, if you see what I mean. These are my digital um, version of those same large journaling cards. And I just wanted to come along and have a bit of a play um, with kind of a few ideas that I thought you could do if you were, you know, if you wanted to um, buy these at all. So, yeah, what you get is you get, obviously, the two um, journaling cards. Sorry, not these two, because these are the same. Uh, the two sets. So there's, like, you know, this page and this page. Um, and then there's also a page with them shrunken down into four to a page. Um, and I think um, shrunk down to eight to a page, which... I think there's then a colour, you know, different colourway as well. Um, but yeah, I'm not quite sure about that because at this point I haven't actually quite finished them. Um, so let's just cut these down. And actually, I also just want to just point out something here. So this has all been printed or these have all been printed on photo quality paper. Um, now, one of the photo quality papers is, uh, I think it's like two. 50 GSM and one is 200 GSM but that's not the reason I'm pointing it out the reason I'm pointing it out is if you can see the brightness and the vividness of the colors so unfortunately I have no clue which are which of the papers now because yeah they've all kind of got mixed in with my paper and I no longer know which is which but I just wanted to kind of demonstrate really that you know there really can be such an incredible difference between just different papers and it's really worth playing around and finding you know the best paper maybe for your printer because just because it's great paper on my printer doesn't necessarily mean it's going to be great paper on your printer but I just wanted to kind of point that out because can you see the kind of difference in the quality? I really think it's, you know, it's quite, um, you know, quite astounding the, the difference. I'll show you these two as well. You know, this one is so much more vivid than this one. If you didn't see this, you would think these were fine, wouldn't you? But when you put this one here, you really kind of get a feel for actually the incredible difference that there is. So, yeah, I just wanted to kind of just highlight that because... Um, you know, I sometimes hadn't realised myself, um, you know, the difference between the, the papers and things. So I just thought, you know, it was worth just mentioning that because, um, you know, it really does make a difference. So I'm just going to cut out my first journaling card. Like that, okay. Like that. Now, actually, I'm now thinking I should have done have done the other one um because i'm wondering whether we could have like a transparency film pocket over this and then cut out the same elements you know not all of them but some of the same elements again and put them onto the transparency so probably just the bird and just the bow so yeah let's cut out this one now as i say this is not such thick card either um not that you know not that that is a problem because you know it's still quite quite thick but um it's you know it's the vibrancy that I really was kind of pointing out because um yeah I mean that really is quite a big difference I think like I say I mean if you didn't put them together next to each other you know it would probably look fine but when you do see the difference together actually it's quite a you know quite astounding I think the um you know the vibrancy <laughs> discrepancy yeah the vibrancy difference um you know it's very very noticeable so yeah I just wanted to kind of point that out really so what I'm going to do is cut out just the bird with the bow so just going around here which, you know, in hindsight, obviously I needn't have um, cut out the journal card, but yeah, I haven't really kind of factored that in at the point of doing it. So, okay. Like that. Okey-dokey, and then like this. Okay. 
Okay. Like that. Oh, it's really windy outside. I don't know if you can hear the wind, but yeah, it's kind of, um, you know, just getting up really, really windy today. Don't know why, but yeah. Right, now I'm going to just keep that being really stingy because I may want to use that butterfly. Uh, right, so then we're going to take this. Now what have I just done with that transparency? So, couldn't see it for a minute because um, obviously it was transparent. So it just kind of blended in. And then I'm going to stick the bird onto that transparency film. Now I'm going to just stick it with my wet glue. And then I'm going to take it to the printer, uh, the printer, not the printer, no, not, definitely not the printer, to the sewing machine and just stitch around it. So let's just get it stuck down onto the transparency film. Now, the other thing that you could use for your transparency film, um, oh, right. Now, obviously, you need to be a bit careful here because I want it to be going over that bird. So when I come to actually stitch this onto the beneath pocket, if you see what I mean, that's when the real um, tricky, tricky part comes because I'm going to have to make sure that I've really put it in the right place. So yeah, let's put that to one side and I'm going to take that to the printer obviously in a minute. So just before we do that, let's do something with one of the other ones. So let's take these two. Um, yeah, I'm going to do the butterfly one actually, I think. So yeah, I, when I scanned these in, um, I didn't really know how they were, you know, how they would look, whether they would look good or not, but oh, I just love them. They are so vibrant and so gorgeous. That, yeah, just really, really, really love them. So, and there really is just something gorgeous about them being so big. Um, you know, they feel so chunky and so, well, not chunky, but, you know, so, um, I guess, substantial. They're just, yeah, really, really, really lovely. And this one. Okay. I've done the same thing again you know I, I've cut out the whole journal card totally not really necessary because I was going to decoupage onto the other one so I'm just going to cut this one out now I have to say I'm not sure that these are quite the same size um so this is yeah this is winging a prayer stuff just yep winging winging the craft in here but Okay, right, and then what I thought was if you could then put these like this, so yeah, I'm going to need to trim them down because they're not exactly the same size. I'm going to stitch them around on the sewing machine to make a little, you know, pocket from the, you know, from the card. So yeah, we could have had this, which of course then they were the same size. Um, but I wanted to use the butterfly as a decoupage piece to put on here, if, if that makes sense. So, yeah, I think probably I'd prefer to have them like this. So I'm going to just quickly take them to the sewing machine and then I'll be back. Right, I'm back from the sewing machine. So what I've done is this one now is a pocket and you've got the toadstool um, journal card on the back and the butterfly on the front. I'm just going to trim down a couple of bits. So literally just stitched round on three sides. Now this one, yes, I had a bit of a rubbish rubbish sewing episode at the bottom, but hey ho, hopefully it's still fine. Um, and then I'm just going to cut this down, running along the edge. Now, obviously I did not stitch along this edge, you know, because obviously that's going to be the opening for the pocket. And just 
oops, cutting this down here. Now, oops, like that. And then if you can see, I stitched around here, again, rubbish sewing there at the bottom um, over where the bow is and the bottom of that bird. <laughs> I couldn't have really done a worse job. Um, but yeah, I mean, it didn't go too badly around his face and things. It was just here. I was, um, yeah, probably just getting really impatient, if the truth be known. But I just wanted to kind of make sure that he was properly adhered down on there and, you know, not likely to come off. So I felt that the stitching was going to reinforce him. So that's that one. And then, of course, we can just decorate him up, put some lace and things like that on there. Now, I bought along some pink ribbon which I thought would look really quite cool on this, but actually now I'm not so sure. We could do, you know, like where you thread thread ribbon through. Um, oh, I wonder what that would look like. I Yeah, I'm not really all that great at doing things like this, but I'm wondering if we could go down here. Uh, now I've got my slot punch. The problem is my slot punch would be the wrong way. And of course, I'm not going to manage to get it that way down, if you see what I mean. So I'm going to have to use the crocodile. Right, now I suspect I'm going to make a terrible job of doing this. So, yeah, it's probably a, you know, not not what you do. What's what's the expression? Do as I say, not as I do. Maybe Maybe one of those situations. Right, so I'm going to go in here. And then again, just judging by eye. I wonder if we want to have more. Let's do... Um, yeah, maybe like one there. And then one here. So, you know, totally judged by, by eye. So I'm not saying this is going to look great. But yeah, it's just kind of an initial initial bash at this. And I haven't really done things like this um, before. I know that sounds really strange, but... Yeah, because I think things like this are quite fiddly, so I shy away from doing anything fiddly, as you know. Right, now, want to have the maximum ribbon showing. So, therefore, yeah, want to have... So I'm going to just thread this through like that. Oops. Oh, come on. I mean, obviously I have not coffee dyed or inked the back of this or anything. So yeah, probably could do with doing that. But, you know, I can do that afterwards. Um, and then I want to kind of thread this through the whole way along here. So let's just cut this down. Oops. To a more manageable length. So I'm not working with the whole roll, which of course is fiddly to say the least. So yeah, going to go in here. I probably should have done like some mathematical equation to work out which which hole to start with to end up with the maximum ribbon showing. But yeah, obviously, because this is just only just come to me to do this, I of course hadn't thought of doing that. So I'm now thinking I could have done with many more holes, couldn't I? Because this just looks rubbish. Well, it doesn't look as rubbish now that that's through actually, but see how it looks with this and if not I'll have to unthread it and we'll do some more holes. What we could have done was obviously had the lace uh, the ribbon longer and actually had it tied at the back or tied at the front would look better wouldn't it? Right okay <laughs> okay plan B. I'm going to take all of these out I'm going to punch more holes so I'm going to go in between every hole. So this is where I now end up with way, way, way too many holes. Yeah, we've now got more holes than we need. Right, and for some reason I have mucked it up on the bottom because they are very close together compared to the top holes, but, you know, never mind. Who's, who's counting? Right. And then what I think would be nice is actually to have it where the pieces come out at the front and we can tie them in a bow. So, yeah. Right, now how are we going to achieve that, I wonder? Let's just go through here and, yeah, do it like this, I think. So, in through the top. And like that. And then 
this one. Next. Come on. And this one. Okay, so that looks quite pretty, doesn't it? And then, yeah, I'm kind of thinking if we then have similar at the bottom, so I'm going to need a much longer piece of ribbon to enable me to be able to do the bow up. Oh, honestly, feeling like, why did I, why did I decide to do this? Because this is just going to be like a nightmare. Oh, well, right. So then I want to go <laughs> in through here. And you can just see this, can't you, come in, that of course I'm going to have not had the right number of holes. You know, I can already see that that's going to be happening. Yeah, I mean, obviously, if I had planned this a bit better, I could have ensured that I was doing this the right way. Oh, flukily, flukily, this has worked out okay. This was more luck than judgment, it's got to be said. Yeah, can't claim this to be like my great planning. Definitely not my great planning. Right, bring this round. I want to make sure that I've got the, um, you know, the pretty kind of stitched line of the ribbon showing, which of course it's not currently. So yeah, let's take that through like that. And yeah, through. Like that. Oh, okay. And then through there. Right. Okay. And then through this one. Right. Okay. Oh my goodness. What a faff this was. Yeah. Uh, I mean, I have marked this up because now I've got that looped around the top, which, yeah, that's not quite how I'd planned it. But hey. Never mind. We've we've got enough to get the um, <laughs> to get the idea. I'm sure. So I'm just going to tie this into a little bow at the side, which I thought would just look really pretty. Okay. So I'm not saying that the execution was great of this. No way. Um, of course, yeah, wasn't brilliant. But hopefully, the idea for this is. Um, it's not, you know, it's coming across quite, quite okay. So, um, yeah. And then you've got your little ribbon at the side, which I think looks really pretty. Now, what did I do with that butterfly that I cut off earlier and said, oh, I'm just going to hold that. So let's just cut this down. Okay. Well, it's turning out really sunny and lovely today. It's been one of them weird days, you know, one minute is quite grey, then it's quite sunny. Yeah, weird. Very weird. Right. So then I'm thinking we could just have that butterfly either here over that, or to be honest, I'm thinking maybe over here. Because, of course, you know, I'm not going to struggle to get it to glue down on top of the, you know, the bird. Because it's not, um, what's the word? It's not a laminated piece or a, you know, it's not a shiny piece. It's, it's a paper piece. So, of course, it's, you know, it's going to glue on there a bit, a bit better. So, that's that one there. And then I've also got some pink flowers Oh, that's pretty, isn't it? Right, hoping that this is going to glue nicely on here. Um, obviously using my hot glue. And yeah, just hoping for the best, really, that that's going to stay glued down. I could reinforce it with, um, you know, a staple or something like that to, you know, really keep it kind of glued down. But yeah, just hoping for the best, really. And that's my, my pocket. So, you know, looks really pretty, doesn't it? And then could even add... This was what I'd spotted over at the printer. Uh, the Why do I keep calling it a printer today? At the sewing machine. And could put, you know, a little journal card or something. Or journaling, journaling spot. 
perhaps I should say, just on top of there as well. So, oops. like that. So again, just kind of gluing that down so it's quite a bit over the actual paper pieces rather than the the shiny transparency film because it's got then a bit more chance of sticking, you know. And actually might be able to have another flower even on there as well. Oh, that's pretty, yeah. Maybe at the bottom. So, I mean, what a gorgeous pocket. Really, really pretty, isn't it? And then this one, of course, this is our stitched double pocket. And I just thought we could then have this butterfly. Like a sort of decoupage piece on top of it. So, just going to cut that down like that. Okay, right. Like that. And this time, obviously, you could leave those wings flapping. And to be honest, could even put down these labels, but not, not both of them. So I'm just going to take like this one and just have this one really raised. Again, so it's got a decoupage type feel to it. So I'm just going to glue this on there. And then, of course, you know, like we do so often, just not really press it on, you know, just pressing it on a bit so it's glued, but yeah, not pressing it on too much. And then here, oops. Oh, I'll put that one down there, like that. But leaving those wings flapping looks really pretty, doesn't it? And then could just add some lace and things down the side. So let me just see what lace I want to add to this. I've got this, which I keep pulling this out thinking it's blue, but I, uh, black, but I actually think it is navy blue. So um, yeah, I'm not sure. Which actually now I'm thinking, oh, why didn't I have any lace on this one? It's because I was too busy mucking around with that ribbon, which I kind of failed miserably. I mean, hopefully I did get the idea across, even though the, like I say, the execution was pretty rubbish. Hopefully it's kind of, um, <laughs> you know, pulled it off enough to actually kind of show what I was trying to do. Just got this black lace. I mean, any excuse to use some black lace, obviously. Oh my goodness, how gorgeous does that look? Yeah, really love that. So I'm just going to put that across the top. Again, just being a bit lazy here, really, kind of using the um, hot glue, you know, because then I don't have to worry. I know it's glued down. Like that. Oh, how gorgeous does that look? And then let's just take my bling. I've probably got a beautiful bright bow that we could oops that we could have somewhere as well. Either a real one or a fake one. So yeah, let's just oops pop that there. Let's just have a look through my bright bows. So I've got bright butterflies, nope, bright roses, nope. <laughs> Number tabs, nope. Bright bows, okay. Oh, a bit too big. Right, this is again where we're now not going to have quite the right thing, are we? Of course we're not. Oh, that's quite cute in, on that um, 
butterfly, isn't it? Yeah, I know it's a bit weird, but yeah, it's probably a bit weird, but it looked cute. It did look cute. Um, no. Oh, that's nice, isn't it? Oops, that one's nice. Again, I mean, I don't know why I'm putting it on that butterfly, but I just think, oh, well, I was thinking it looked good on there, but now I'm thinking, oh, it looks better. Looks better on the lace and maybe just the bling on the butterfly. So, yeah, let's put the green butterfly, uh, green bow. Using my ability to talk today. Can you tell I've been doing a couple of videos and now, yeah, I've kind of lost, lost the plot now. I'll just check that I don't want to have the bling on the lace. I mean, I do like the bling on the lace. It does look pretty. Um, uh, the only reason why I'm kind of wondering about it on the lace, really, rather than the uh, butterfly, is because, you know, it wasn't kind of the full length of the thingamabob, you know, the body. So let me just cut out another piece. Oh, that's better, isn't it? Yeah, better to have it going right the way along. So just pop this one down here. Okay, and then like that. Yay, right. Oh, how gorgeous does that look? So, yeah, I mean, they look really pretty, don't they? I mean, I could, oops, could even have another little bow, only because it just happens to be, you know, laying around on the desk. So, yeah, might as well kind of use it because um, it just happens to be there. So, I think it fell out of the um, file folder just now, but yeah, I might as well, might as well use that. Oh, how gorgeous is that? So this, you could then use this as like a floating pocket, just obviously paper clipped onto a page or something. Now, again, I've done this weird thing where, you know, I haven't decorated the back and I know I've talked about this before. I think just because I always just think, well, that's the back, you know, it doesn't feel like you should decorate the back. Um, plus, I feel like it would make it quite bumpy to actually have it then, you know, paper clipped on or held on or whatever. Um, but, you know, there's no reason why you couldn't obviously decorate the back. And you could do something very similar because, you know, of course, you would then have this that you could then, like, decoupage, you know, have a decoupage thing going on with elements from here, either the toadstool, the bow, the butterflies, you know, whatever kind of bits that you fancy kind of having raised up, really. Um, so, yeah, I mean, there's no reason why you couldn't do that. Now... Yeah, I have to say, I'm not quite 100% happy with this. Um, oops. I think I marked it up a bit with the ribbon. I can't help but think, oh, I probably would have been better just going with lace, to be honest. But I fancied doing something a bit different. And, um, yeah, now in hindsight, I'm kind of like, oh, I wish I hadn't. But, you know, it seemed like a good idea at the time. I mean, I could just add some lace across the top or the bottom now. No reason I couldn't. Do you know, I might just do that. So I'm going to just peel, oops, peel this flower off. So this is a good way to um, check how well it's glued down, isn't it? It's not wanting to come off. So it's, it's glued down pretty well. Okay, right. And then I can obviously glue that back on. So I'm just going to glue the lace straight the way across here. Like that. And then I'm going to just re-glue that hot, hot re-hot glue that hot pink flower on there like that. Oh, I much prefer that now with that bit of lace. Just was kind of like, yeah, I wasn't happy. Oops, wasn't happy with that ribbon thing. And now I've, oops, knocked the ribbon off from around there. So what I would probably do now to stop this moving around like it just did is, you know, just tack that down just with a bit of hot glue there. And that's just gonna keep that in place. 
like that, okay? Like that. So, yeah, I mean, how pretty does that look now? Gorgeous, gorgeous. Just wondering now, because, you know, of course, I can never quite, quite leave things alone. <laughs> so I'm just wondering whether we should have a bow on here at all. Just because this bow looks so pretty, but now I'm like, oh, perhaps, perhaps we might like to have a bow up there. Again, it's just now a case of finding one in the right colour and the right size. So let's have a quick look. Oops. Mm. No, that's too purple, too orange. Well, I'm obviously not going to be able to find one, am I? Because that would just be too too convenient but yeah I mean could have could have had another bow I mean could even have that one to be honest it looks quite pretty doesn't it let me just let me just see mm. I'm in that gorgeous color right let's put these away uh, okay Hmm. Yeah, let's just quickly see how that would look. So, thinking kind of there, what do, what do we think? Does it look better with that or without that? Yeah, I think, let's just go for it. Yeah, it's all about just um, going for it today, so. Like that. Oh, should we have some bling now? Because I've now just thought, oh, we've got no bling on this piece now. Which, how boring is that to have no bling? Yep. Okay. Oops. Oh, how pretty does that look? Yeah. So I'm going to put this bow up there, actually, not bling. That just looks so pretty. Yeah. Okay. Love how that looks. So that is the two um, journal cards, the big journal cards that, you know, we made previously. And now this is using the printable version of them. Um, just to give you a few ideas, really, of the different things that you could do with them. Like I say, you do get smaller versions of these as well. These are the large size, um, you know, which, of course, you know, they were large cards when we made the originals. Um, but, yeah, you do get the smaller size of these as well. Um, so, you know, there's kind of quite a bit that you can play with and, um, yeah, hopefully just have some, some fun with, really. So I hope that you like some of the ideas and, um, yeah, thank you so much for watching. Obviously, like I say, these are available in my Etsy shop as a little printable. And, um, yeah, hope that you like them. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys tomorrow. Thanks then. Bye.